And welcome to tonight's game. Live from the Bearcat Event Center, I'm Tyler Wagner bringing you tonight's game. It's the home opener for us here at YHC and online at cmosportzone.com. And we've got the Charleston Blue Jays visiting the Dexter Bearcats. And in the CMO Conference matchup from Southeast Missouri. So glad you joined us for tonight's game. And we look forward to bringing you CMO Conference basketball tonight. We've got Charleston coming off two wins out of the Riverbank Classic over the weekend, Thanksgiving weekend over uh, West Memphis, Arkansas. And also, uh, excuse me, that was over North Little Rock uh, in the Riverbank Classic. So they've got two wins coming in here tonight. It's Dexter's home opener here at the Bearcat Event Center. And these teams will be playing in a few weeks in the first round of the CMO Conference Tournament in Sykeston. So a big matchup uh, tonight to look forward to that as well. And Charleston, the number one ranked team in Class 3 in the state of Missouri, the defending Class 3 state champions. And they look to defend their crown once again this year. They've got a great lineup coming back led by Ryan Parham, the senior point guard for the Blue Jays. And the uh, Blue Jays, they've lost Greg Tucker to Northern Colorado in Division I basketball. They look to be uh, having no problem bringing this team back this year. Also getting uh, great performances out of their younger players moving up from the JV from last year. So look forward to having a very competitive Charleston Blue Jays team on the court coached once again by Danner, Danny Farmer. So it seems like they always roll over the talent year in and year out. And, of course, Dexter's wanting to uh, bring back a competitive team this year headed up by Rob Nichols. And Ryan Parham starting for the Blue Jays. Number 24, Trey Watkins. Number 40, Summer Foster, the 6'3 senior. And number 45, a 6'3 senior, Darian Carter. And for the home Dexter Bearcats, number four, six foot junior, Nick Noble. Number 11, a 5'10 junior, DJ Dowdy. Austin Allridge, the 5'10 sophomore. Number 22 is 6 2 senior Brad Potts. And number 24, Devin Hampton, the 6 foot junior. So there's your Dexter Bearcats, headed up by Rob Nichols, assisted by John Geatley. And here we go, live from the Dexter Bearcat Event Center. High school basketball here on YHC. Glad you joined us. And the tip up goes to the Blue Jays. Handled by Michael Hull over to Parham. Going to be working against his own defense here by the Bearcats. Three-pointer up in the corner up. No good. And rebound put up and in. That time by Darian Carter. Man-to-man -man defense by the Blue Jays. Extra working around the horn. And a drive in the lane up and good. That time by Brad Potts. Gets the Bearcats on the board. Deflected out of bounds and a stay with the Blue Jays. Arm with it, looks down, deflected, out of bounds off of Carter. Nice defense deflection there by the Bearcats, turns it over. Quickly ahead. Shot up, no good. By Devin Hampton. Quickly the other way, Trey Watkins over to Hull in the corner for a three, knocks it down. Michael Hull with the first three-pointer for the Blue Jays and for the night. DJ Dowdy out front, guarded closely. Dowdy back with it, guarded by Hull. 
Potts on the drive. And Dowdy with it. He goes up. No good. Carter with a rebound. Watkins pushes it ahead. Parham for three at the top of the key. No good. And a scramble for the ball. It's going to end up being a tie-up. Possession to the Bearcats. Just under six minutes remaining in this first quarter. And taken away. Parham with the ball. He's up ahead. He scores it. Ryan Parham, one of the best guards in the state. With a nice transition bucket there for the Blue Jays. And a fake shot put up, blocked by Carter. But retained by Noble. And three-pointer in the corner put up. No good. That time by Aldrich, quickly ahead. Put up and in, no good, or up, no good. Watkins with a rebound, can't get it to go, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul charge two, Devin Hampton. His first. First shot up, good by Trey Watkins. Second shot up, good. Pots over to Dowdy. Potts on the drive, goes up, no good. And Parham with it, pushes it ahead. Into the paint, and we got a blocking foul. Looks like that's on Aldrich. Three-pointer in the corner by Watkins, in and out, and lost out of bounds by Potts. It'll stay with the Blue Jays. Quick inbound. Hull for a deep three, knocks it down. Michael Hull with his second three-pointer of the evening. And we've got a quick timeout on the floor by the Bearcats. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance is celebrating our 100th year. We started protecting rural farmers way back in 1910, ensuring folks no one else would. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance has been a family business for four generations, and we continue that tradition today, providing solid home, farm, and commercial insurance at very competitive rates. When the ice storm hit us, we were out there with you. All of our claims were processed within days, and we will continue to provide the best coverage and the best service for the next hundred years. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance, a century of service. And we're back with you from the Bearcat Event Center in Dexter. Quick timeout by the Bearcats. Full court pressure by the Blue Jays. Dowdy crosses the center line, guarded closely by Parham. Aldridge with it over to Dowdy. Noble with it. Gets Dowdy on the cut. He goes up the lane. No good. Potts with a rebound. He goes up. Can't get it to go. Rebound Carter. Gets it up to Parham on the break. Hull with it. Into the paint. Dishes it off. But a push foul on Hull. Over to the Bearcats. The Blue Jays had numbers, but... Couldn't take advantage. It'll be a an offensive foul committed by Michael Hull, his first. Yeah. 
Noble with it on the left wing. Up to Dowdy, he'll put up the quick three, in and out. Par with a rebound. Hole for a quick three on the right side. No good. Darian Carter with a rebound. Puts it up. Good and the foul. Darian Carter having his way underneath so far. It's his second basket. He's got a chance for a three-point play. The foul charge to Brad Potts, his first. First shot up. It's good for the, <laughs> the one shot for the three-point play. Good for Carter. Aldridge out front, finds Dowdy, guarded closely by Parham. Brad Potts on the drive, gives it up to Hampton. He goes up the paint, no good. And the Blue Jays pull it out. Look for something in the half court set. Three-pointer in the left corner, up no good. Hole with a rebound, puts it up and in. Nice effort there by Hole. He's got eight in the game. And pressure by the Blue Jays, taken away by Buckle Hole. He'll go in for the easy two. Aldridge out front, guard closely by Watkins. Over to Noble. DJ Dowdy for a three at the top of the key, no good. Hole with a rebound, pushed ahead to Parham. And a nice pass underneath to Carter, basket and the foul. Carter running the floor well, Parham with a great vision. Give it up to Carter for the two, plus a chance for a three-point play. And now we've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a break and be right back. First Midwest Bank Gold Club offers special privileges for our friends who are age 50 or better and have combined deposits of $5,000. Members enjoy trips, cruises, seminars, and picnics along with free personalized bank services. Upcoming trips include Journey Through the Holy Land, Yellowstone in Winter, Classic Ireland, and Hawaiian Paradise Cruise. Stop by any First Midwest Bank location to sign up for the Gold Club. It's absolutely free. First Midwest Bank, providing common sense financial solutions every day. For lunch, supper, anytime, the best food in Dexter is always Pizza Hut Wing Street. Our famous pizzas are handmade with all natural ingredients, no fillers, no preservatives. For a quick lunch, try our buffet. Eat all you want. Our delicious pasta selections will soon be your family favorite. And Wing Street Wings are perfect for get-togethers. Wing it like a pro. Add potato wedges, dunkers, or mini pies with a two-liter of your favorite Pepsi product, and you've got a full meal. There's always something good cooking at your Dexter Pizza Hut. Call or order online today. And back to action, Darren Carter's free throw, no good. And tough pressure by the Blue Jays. Noble with it. Noble guarded closely. Dowdy being chased by Parham. Goes into the paint. Up no good. Parham pushes it up. Pull up jumper. No good. Dowdy with a rebound. Brad Potts over to Aldridge. Over to Noble. Aldridge back with it. And Aldridge shot blocked by Robert Bogan, 5'10 junior. He's into the game. And this is one deep Charleston team. They're going to bring in probably nine to ten players tonight. They're really deep this year. And they're going to really be able to keep the intensity up for the duration of the game. So the Bearcats... Really going to 
get some tough intensity by the Blue Jays, and that goes for everyone playing Charleston this year. They're going to really keep the intensity up, especially on the defensive end. Quick inbound. Brad Potts for a three. Knocks it down. Under a minute now in the first quarter. And a drive into the paint up and in that time by Darian Henderson. At 20 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And we've got a foul out front charged to Robert Bogan. That'll be his first. 15 seconds remaining in this first quarter. 23 to 5 advantage for the Blue Jays. And layup no good. And got three seconds remaining. One chance for one shot to go up. Three in the corner up. No good. And that brings it in to our first quarter. The Charleston Blue Jays on top of the Dexter Bearcats. 23-5 to five after one. We'll be back with your second quarter coming up. I want to stay. Call Bell Hearing Center at 1-800-499-8786 or visit one of our locations in Dexter and Poplar Bluff, Missouri today. Professional service with care and compassion. We at Rainey Mathis Funeral Homes strive to provide you a respectable environment and services during the time of your loss. We offer numerous services including pre-planning arrangements, memorial family tributes, and webcasting for those unable to attend a service. We will listen to you and your wishes to help plan a celebration consistent with your expectations. Rainy Mathis Funeral Homes in Dexter and Bernie. And back to the second quarter. Dominating quarter four of the Charleston Blue Jays. They hit 23 to 5 to start this second quarter. Dexter staying in. Looks like the matchup zone in the half court set. And we got a foul. Underneath. The foul will be charged to 23, Jordan Miller. His first. And nice defense there by Potts. Deflected it away. Dowdy with a recovery. Three-pointer up, no good. Shot put up by Austin Richardson. Pushed ahead. Robert Bogan up, and he's foul. Looks like it'll be on Brad Potts. His second foul. Robert Bogan, one of the fine running backs in the area. Southeast Missouri this year for the Blue Jays. First shot's good. Second shot is good. Full court pressure by the Blue Jays. in foul on Robert Bogan. That'll be his second foul. Team foul number three on the Blue Jays.
All over to Dowdy on the left wing. Got an open Austin Richardson underneath, but blocked away by Bogan. Three-pointer at the top of the key. Up, no good by Delfinko Bogan. And nice pass underneath. Potts gets it to go. Nice ball movement there by the Bearcats. And underneath, put up and in that time by Shandon Webster. And ball deflected, taken away by Bogan, up ahead to Robert Bogan. And he'll go in for the easy two. Ball ahead to Austin Richardson. Looks underneath, deflected. Richardson back with it, into the paint, scores it. Nice reverse layup there by Austin Richardson. Taken away by Dowdy. And almost a steal out front by Will Davis, but he'll be charged with the foul. His first. And line change for the Blue Jays. Pretty much seeing the starting five come back in. And that's not a random occurrence that you'll see a completely five or a complete different five on the floor for the Blue Jays this year. They really go deep into their roster this year. Now it's uh, Brad Potts in the lane. Goes up, no good. Carter with a rebound. Parham now with it. Nice pass underneath to Carter. He goes up, no good. And Watkins with a rebound. He'll go up, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. First shot up for Watkins, a little short. Second shot, good. And guarded closely out front, trying to look someone to pass to. And looks like it'll be out of bounds off the Bearcats over to the Blue Jays. Four and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Three-pointer in the corner, a little strong. And put up and in by Summer Foster. And down into the lane, can't get the layup to go. Hole with it, gives it up to Parham. And, or that's actually Foster losing the handle. Bearcats back with it. And throwing out of bounds, turns it over to the Blue Jays. Under four minutes remaining in this first half. Watkins for three in the corner, no good. Rebound Potts. And three pointer up, no good. By Aldrich, pushed ahead. Carter on the break, scores it. And 
nice pressure by the Blue Jays. Looks like a turnover. Parham with it. Up with the left, good. And a timeout by the Bearcats. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. At Glenn St. and Kennett, we have all the GM lines at one location. Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glenn St. We're always looking for new customers and friends. Come see us at our beautiful dealership in Kennett. We have a great group of people to work with for your very best deal and to save you money. It does not stop there. We also have great service people that you will enjoy. When you leave, we want you to say, I like Glenn Sane. Glenn Sane, and God bless our troops. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you. If you have the nerve to believe meeting eye to eye helps you see eye to eye. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. We're back live from the Barricade Event Center. Sizable lead for the Blue Jays here in the first half. Under three minutes remaining. And Potts up in the lane, no good. Hole with it, pushes it ahead to Watkins, thrown away. Back over to the Bearcats. Noble on the left wing out to Dowdy. Dowdy back with it. And to the lane is Aldridge. He gets it to go. Austin Aldridge, 5'10 sophomore. And three-pointer up by Parham. He knocks it down. And nice look underneath for Aldridge. Puts it up and in. And a steal by Dowdy. He's on the break and blocked away. That time by Summer Foster running the floor, defending the basket. Nice effort both on the part of Dowdy and Foster. Ball will stay with the Bearcats. Minute 20 remaining in this first half. And trying to inbound, gets it out to Dowdy. And a tie up at midcourt. And possession will stay with the Bearcats. 114 remaining in this second quarter. And nice dish down pass to Hampton. Can't get it to go. Out of bounds off of Carter. He'll stay with the Bearcats. 53 seconds remaining in this first half. Inbound to Aldridge. He puts up the three, knocks it down. Aldridge has eight points here in the first half. And in 
to the paint is Foster. He gets it to go. He's got four in the game. At 23 seconds remaining in this first half. Now down to 10 seconds. Shot up, no good. And going to run out of time. That brings it in to our first half. And a halftime lead of 41 to 16. Advantage to the Charleston Blue Jays after one half of play. And we're going to keep it live here as the Dexter Kicking Cats will perform. Those are the Dexter Kicking Cats dance team for the Dexter High School. And we want to remind you this game is brought to you in part by Bank of Advance in Dexter with multiple locations in Stoddard County where a handshake still matters. The Bank, Bank of Advance supports high school athletics with Dexter Bearcats. And we'd like to wish all the luck to the teams this year. Bank of Advance. And we'll take a break, and we'll be back with some halftime stats and discussion in just a moment. And 
We're back with you halftime here from the Bearcat Event Center. We'll go with some quick scoring here in the first half. Charleston led by Michael Hull with 10 points, followed by Darian Carter with nine, Ryan Parham with five, Robert Bogan with four, Summer Foster with four, Trey Watkins with three, and Shandor Webster with two. And for the Dexter Bearcats, led by Brad Potts and Austin Otteridge, both with seven. Austin Richardson with two, and that brings you to a halftime score of 41 to 16 in favor of the Charleston Blue Jays. And Charleston, very impressive in the first half, very stifling on defense, forcing turnovers, and getting out in the open court, finishing off, and getting out to a sizable lead here. Dexter really have a hard time dealing with the half court, the even full court pressure of the, the Blue Jays. But even in the half court set, they're really getting a lot of ball pressure on the Bearcats, making it hard for Dexter to get open looks. And the open looks that Dexter has had, they haven't been able to convert. They've gotten some looks in the paint, haven't been able to convert those uh, decent looks in the paint. So it's pretty much Charleston's defense here in the first half really dictating the game here. Uh, between Dexter and Charleston. So we'll be looking forward to the second half uh, between these two teams. And again, these teams will match up here in a few weeks in the SEMO Conference Tournament in Sykeston in the first round. Charleston with the first seed, and they will take on the eight seed Dexter Bearcats. And Charleston opening up very impressive with two wins at the Riverbend Classic in New Madrid over Thanksgiving weekend. And they are currently the number one ranked team in the state in class three, the defending class three state champions as well. So they bring back a core nucleus of uh, Ryan Parham, senior point guard, Trey Watkins, a senior, uh, putting in valuable minutes for the Blue Jays last year. And they got some great uh, performances out of their upcoming juniors that we're seeing tonight. Uh, Robert Bogan contributing as well as uh, <clears throat> we've seen uh, Delfinko Bogan in the game, a sophomore moving up as well, and a, a strong senior class this year for the Blue Jays. Darian Carter, Summer Foster, as we mentioned, Ryan Parham and Trey Watkins, and uh, Michael Kellum in, uh, into the game as well, a junior for the Blue Jays, so a strong Roster by the Blue Jays once again this year. No surprise as one of the premier programs in Southeast Missouri. And three-pointer up, no good. In the corner by Foster. Doubt he'll bring it up for the Bearcats. Aldridge with it. Guarded closely by Watkins. Nowhere to go. Gets it out. Tries to get it out to Doughty, but Parham takes it away. And goes up for the easy two. And out of bounds. Over to the Blue Jays. And nice ball move out of the Blue Jays. Looks like it's going to be a foul on Devin Hampton underneath. That'll be his second. Sends Darian Carter to the line to shoot two. First shot's up. Good. Second shot's good. And take it away. And that's Foster going in for the jam. And it looks like Aldridge stepped on the sideline, turning it over to the Blue Jays. Dexter having a hard time getting into a rhythm offensively this third quarter so far. Nice look down to Watkins, blocked away.
Potts on the drive, goes up, scores it. Nice drive there by Brad Potts. Three-pointer in the corner by Holes, no good. And the putback, good for the Blue Jays. Deflected out of bounds by Hull. It'll stay with the Bearcats. Dowdy on the drive, blocked away by Carter. Watkins retrieves it, gives it up to Parham. They've got numbers. Foster up, no good. Carter with the putback, good. Foul out front committed by Michael Hull, his second. Mass substitution here for the Blue Jays. And to the game for the Bearcats, that's Austin Richardson. Richardson with it on the baseline. Tries to get it out to Dowdy, and he does, but it's going to be a backcourt violation. Turns it over to the Blue Jays. They had tough half-court defense exhibited by the Blue Jays tonight. Bogan tries to get it down to Webster, out of bounds. Turns it over to the Bearcats. Potts out front. Gets it deflected and deflected off of Robert Bogan. It'll stay with the Bearcats. 4.23 remaining in this third quarter. And ball deflected, stolen away by Will Davis. Pushed it ahead for a three. That's Delfinko Bogan, no good. And Richardson comes away with it. Over to Nick Noble. Pots into the paint. Looking for uh, sorry we don't have a number for 45 tonight for the Bearcats. Noble out front, and deflected away. Bogan into the paint, puts up the runner, no good. And tracked down by Henderson. Webster shot at the elbow, no good. Noble with a rebound. Jordan Miller with the ball. It's Dowdy on the cut, into the paint, no good. Webster with a rebound, gives it out to Bogan. And to the paint, and good. Nice move there by Delfinko Bogan. It's his first two of the night. And Morton Miller's shot no good. Now it's Robert Bogan on the run. 
Gives it up to Will Davis. He puts it in for his first two of the night. Miller on the drive. Nowhere to go. Throws it away. It's Delfinko Bogan on the break. Scores it. And a timeout on the floor. We'll take a break and be right back. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you. If you have the nerve to believe meeting eye to eye helps you see eye to eye. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance. And back with you here at the Barricade Event Center. Sizable lead for the Blue Jays, up 57 to 18 here in the third. Down to Dowdy for a quick three at the top of the key. A little strong. Bogan. And a three put up by Robert Bogan. No good. Nick Noble with a rebound. Dowdy for a three on the right side. Knocks it down. Dowdy's first points of the night. Uh, a minute and a half remaining here in the third. Almost a steal by Dowdy. Deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with the Blue Jays. Three-pointer up by Bogan. And it'll hit the bracing above the goal. Possession to the Bearcats. And now we have Miles Erhan, the 5'9 junior, number 10, into the game for the Bearcats. Gives Dowdy a break. Pass underneath to Miller, no good. Deflected out of bounds. Off of the Bearcats, over to the Blue Jays. Under a minute remaining here in this third quarter. Webster with a jump shot, no good. Rebound, Erhan. Or excuse me, that's uh, Aldridge. And a foul committed by Will Davis. That'll be his second. Now with 37 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Deflected out of uh, Bogan. Now with 29 seconds. And take it away. Take it away again. And Bearcats end up with it. And back, turn back over to Charleston. And it looks like we got a foul on the Bearcats. That foul will be charged to Aldridge. Quick shot up, no good. Now with five seconds. Webster with a shot up and good. 
And that'll bring it in to our third quarter. We've completed three quarters of play, 59 to 21. The Blue Jays on top of it, the Bearcats. We'll take a break and be right back. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance is celebrating our 100th year. We started protecting rural farmers way back in 1910, insuring folks no one else would. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance has been a family business for four generations, and we continue that tradition today, providing solid home, farm, and commercial insurance at very competitive rates. When the ice storm hit us, we were out there with you. All of our claims were processed within days, and we will continue to provide the best coverage and the best service for the next hundred years. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance, a century of service. Southeast Missouri Mutual. And back to action here. In the fourth quarter, Charleston well ahead, 59-21. Three-pointer by Dowdy, blocked away by Delfinco, Delfinco Bogan, up ahead to Robert Bogan, and he scores the easy two. Dowdy with a nice spin move with a jump shot. He nails it. And the ball inside to Henderson. Gets his shot blocked away. Three-pointer in the left side by Noble. No good. Rebound Webster. Webster with a shot in the corner. Good. Well, there's just not one player to key on. For the Blue Jays, right now, they go so deep, about 10 players deep on their roster. And three-pointer by Dowdy, no good. Bogan with a rebound. And nice drive, but Webster right there with a the rebound. Gets it out to Davis, he knocks it down. Three-pointer up, no good by Potts. Deflected out of bounds over to the Blue Jays. Five and a half minutes remaining in this game. Webster in the corner. And look for a pass down to Davis. He can't get it to go. Back in the paint, no good. And a push foul by Webster in the back. And he'll turn over to the Blue Jays. His first foul.
Bearcats working around the backcourt. Dowdy with open three, no good. Taken away by the Blue Jays. And shot blocked by Noble. That was Henderson with the attempt. Now under four minutes. Three point in the corner by Aldridge, no good. Now we've got no Bogan on the drive. And he'll travel, turning it over to the Bearcats. Into the game for the Blue Jays, that's Trey Watkins and Summer Foster. And a steal, Delfinko Bogan goes in for the easy two. He's got six in the game. Three minutes remaining in this contest. And ball deflected, regained by Dowdy. And it's loose. And we got a push foul on Robert Bogan. That'll be his third. And Austin Richardson being guarded, deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bearcats. Nick Noble with the ball on the right side. And shot up. No good, but he's fouled by Webster. Well, excuse me, that's going to be on Robert Bogan. Shot up, no good. And we're now approaching one minute remaining in this game. Second shot, good. Webster for three on the left side, knocks it down. Boy, this kid's got some talent, both inside and out for the Blue Jays. Shandor Webster. And Webster looking ahead, but he's gonna throw it away. Brad Potts to Richardson. Potts open for three on the right side, knocks it down. And this will bring it in to this game. Charleston with the victory, 70 to 27. In dominating fashion tonight here from the Bearcat Event Center. And we want to remind you this game is brought to you in part by the Bank of Advance, where a handshake still matters, supporting all high school athletics. And to visit their services go to bankofadvance.com again the bank of advance sponsoring tonight's game appreciate them and all of other sponsors bring you high school basketball this year here on YHC and we'll take a break and be back be back with your final stats and discussion coming up 
for lunch, supper, anytime. The best food in Dexter is always Pizza Hut Wing Street. Our famous pizzas are handmade with all natural ingredients, no fillers, no preservatives. For a quick lunch, try our buffet. Eat all you want. Our delicious pasta selections will soon be your family favorite. And Wing Street Wings are perfect for get-togethers. Wing it like a pro. Add potato wedges, dunkers, or mini pies with a two-liter of your favorite Pepsi product, and you've got a full meal. There's always something good cooking at your Dexter Pizza Hut. Call or order online today. Call Audubel Hearing Center at 1-800-499-8786 or visit one of our locations in Dexter in Poplar Bluff, Missouri today. Professional service with care and compassion. We at Rainy Mathis Funeral Homes strive to provide you a respectable environment and services during the time of your loss. We offer numerous services including pre-planning arrangements, memorial family tributes, and webcasting for those unable to attend a service. We will listen to you and your wishes to help plan a celebration consistent with your expectations. Rainy Mathis Funeral Homes in Dexter and Burney. At Glenn St. Kennett, we have a lot full of inventory and the best rebates of the year. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glenn St. We just want the opportunity to talk to you about your next car truck. Where rebates are the best of the year and interest rates the lowest to work with. It's a great time to buy, and our people are excited to help you make the right choice. We realize you have a lot of dealers to choose from, but I can assure you, no one appreciates your business like we do. Glenn Sane and Kennett, and God bless our troops. And we're here, final score, Charleston over Dexter, 70-27, to 27, dominating fashion tonight by the Charleston Blue Jays. And Charleston goes to 3-0 on the year, and the Dexter Bearcats fall to 0-1. And tough break, for tough night for the Dexter Bearcats. Couldn't really get into an offensive rhythm, and it has everything to do with Charleston and the intensity they bring on the defensive side of the floor. Uh, night in and night out, and it's not going to be any different this year. The Charleston Blue Jays certainly have a deep roster going about nine or ten deep at any time, and they don't really lose much once they go to that second five. And uh, having players such as uh, Summer Foster, and or not Summer Foster, excuse me, but uh, Shandor Webster really came in, did a fine job off the bench for the Blue Jays tonight. We'll go to the scoring now. Charleston led in scoring by... Darian Carter with four, with uh, 11, excuse me, 11 points, followed by Michael Hull with 10, followed by Shandor Webster with 9, Ryan Parham with 7, Summer Foster with 6, also Robert Bogan and Delfinko Bogan both with 6, uh, Will Davis with 4, Trey Watkins with 5, and... Darian Henderson with two and four of the Dexter Bearcats, led by Brad Potts with 12, Austin Aldridge with seven, DJ Dowdy with five, Nick Noble with two, or excuse me, uh, Austin Richardson with two, and that is that. those are your scores for tonight. And again, dominating fashion by the Charleston Blue Jays. These two teams will match up in the first round of the SEMO Conference Tournament in two weeks. And they're in Sykeston, always a competitive turn, uh, tournament. They're the first of the year in the SEMO Conference. You're looking at Sykeson and Charleston being the probably the top two. There are the top two seeds going into that tournament. And incidentally, both teams are the top rank in the state in their class. Charleston in Class 3 and Sykeson in Class 4 in the preseason top 10 Missouri polls. So I uh, got two tough teams here in the SEMO Conference, which is going to be a very competitive conference this year. And Charleston's certainly going to be one of the top teams to deal with, not only in the SEMO Conference, but across the state when it comes to state tournament time in March. So glad you joined us tonight for this first game here in Missouri for us here at YHC TV and online at SEMOSportsZone.com. Be sure to go to that website and 
uh, track it frequently. We're going to be, be bringing a lot of broadcasts through that site at SeymourSportsZone.com. Also our weekly and daily sports shows, so be sure to uh, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter, and we'll be bringing a whole lot more to you through SeymourSportsZone.com. And for all of our viewers out there, appreciate you joining us. And we'll be down in Campbell Friday night for the Campbell Invitational Tournament Finals. Be down there for that game and be replaying over the weekend. We might be webcasting that live Friday night. We'll see. And we'll hope to hope you enjoy the broadcast tonight. We'll see you later on. Until then, I'm Tyler Wagner. Have a great night.